what I was supposed to do. The way she ate me up and ate them kids, I don't think she want no kids. These niggas beefing for IG, but bitch, I want a kid. Yo, what is up, guys? And it's very always showing you how you can edit like LMGK uh, in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I also forgot to mention that this will control will need no plugins. So, yeah, if you guys are no plugin editors, then I suggest you watch this video. So, as you can see, I have this song uh, by the baby called Giving What's Supposed to Give, something like that. Uh, it's a song that LMGK used in his uh, most recent montage, so that's exactly why I'm using it. So, what you're gonna want to do first is uh, get your clip. So, right here, I'm just gonna get this one. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is find basically where the kill happens. So, add a marker on the kill and just trim it down now a lot. And, uh, now connect uh, or just overlap the marker with the beat drop on the song and just do that so it should be like this okay, let me turn on the volume a bit so it's synced perfectly in my opinion and now what you're gonna want to do is a right click on the clip and click link clips and now right click again and go into uh read time controls which is right here actually no no don't do that uh right click and go to read time controls and now add a speed point on a kill by just click, clicking the little triangle right there uh now go to the frame where the gun is pulled out so that would be this frame right here so you can see the gun is pulled out uh, add another speed point and go three frames in front one two three uh, add another speed point and now go in the middle and add like a fourth speed point right here so this will seem confusing but uh, it will look really nice once you are done. So make the first speed uh, 75, like the tiny section, make it 75. Make the second speed uh, 50, and now what you're going to want to do is right here on the speed point next to 50, where it says right here, next to 50, drag the top of that speed point to the right until it says uh, 40%, just like that. Now what you're going to want to do is make the 100% speed right here, uh, 400 just like that and now drag back the 400% speed point uh, so the what's it called so the last speed point lines up with the marker now go around like two or three frames in front of the last speed point one two three around there and I'm just gonna make the speed point overlap a lot and now for the kill the last speed right here a hundred percent change it to 50% and uh, on the top part right here if you go like on the top part of the clip, uh, there should be two arrows and what you're going to do is drag it to the right until it says like 40% speed and now just drag it back so it lines up. So it should look like this. Yeah, it looks really nice in my opinion. It is super similar to LMGK's, uh, what's it called, to his velocity. Now what you're going to want to do is click on the clip, uh, go into retime and scaling right here on the bottom of the right hand side and uh, click optical flow so yeah it should look really nice and uh, what you're going to want to do now for the uh, build up is what you're going to want to do is uh, drag an adjustment clip just on the like I'm going to the effects tab and drag an adjustment clip just in the like in the project and go like at the beginning of the adjustment clip uh, like this and then click shift and right arrow key and click it once that's it and now trim it at the end so basically it should be 60 frames a total of 60 frames and cut the remainder of the adjustment clip and just like delete it and now what you're gonna want to do is drag the adjustment clip a bit to the left so the end lines up with the marker so it should just be a, like a 60 frame portion before the kill and now go into the fusion tab uh, go into your file explorer and go to where you downloaded my uh, my presets. So I'm just gonna go in here, SBR7, uh, LMGK presets right here, and I'm just gonna drag in the LMGK build up. Like I said before, uh, you will not need plugins for this uh, build up. So now now that you've added it, it should be nice and dark. And maybe you want it a bit darker, so maybe you want to put it to minus uh, 0 0.65. And yeah, that looks good. And now go into the edit tab again. And now as you can see it just goes into darkness like just suddenly like that and to fix that what you're going to want to do is click on the adjustment clip and you should see like these two rectangles right here one on the like top left of the adjustment clip another one on the top right go on the top left one 
and just drag it to the right so it basically fades in fully and yeah it should look like this yeah it looks super nice in my opinion and it's really super similar to the build up that LMGK did uh, for uh, Mitro's uh, montage and now what you're going to want to do for the impact is drag in an adjustment clip and uh, drag it on the kill and click shift and right arrow key again uh, like where the adjustment clip starts and now go 10 frames back so once you've clipped and clicked the shift and arrow key go 10 frames back so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, now trim it all and then just delete everything so basically you want the kill part to only be 50 frames uh, that's basically the main goal and now go into the fusion tab of the impact and uh, drag in the LMGK impact no plugins and yeah, like it says in the name, there's no plugins required for this. So camera shake and transform. So and the, like this is a really cool X shake. Uh, like it's kind of subtle, but it's still noticeable. And uh, yeah, it should look like this. And now something that will make this impact a lot better, in my opinion, is uh, go back into your file explorer and go back into the edit tab and uh, drag in the LMGK shockwave. And uh, yeah, it should look like this. It's like a shockwave they used in his uh, recent montage. And what you're gonna want to do is once you've dragged it in, so I'm just gonna. So what you want to do is drag it in next to the clip. So ex right next to the clip, and click on the uh, uh, on the shockwave. Right click on it and click link clips and delete the audio file. And now put the shockwave above the adjustment clip, just like this. So yeah, it should look nice. And now, what you're going to want to do is click on the shockwave again and go into composite mode right here and make the composite mode add. And right click on the shockwave and you should see this thing right here that says change clip speed. And I usually like to make mine uh, 750. It makes it a really fast and cool shockwave. So, it, like, it should look like this once you've done everything yeah super clean in my opinion and now for the second clip what you're going to want to do uh, I'm just going to drag in another one so uh, which one should I add alright so now that I have chosen my clip I'm going to drag it in and sync it up with the song so the song I'm just going to drag this up right here is the next beat drop I already have it marked just like for the sake of this video and uh, I'm just going to trim this down so it lines up with the kill so I'm going to find uh, where he cracks the uh, uh, opponent shield so right here the, like the character turns blue I'm going to click M on my keyboard I'm going to make sure that I have my uh, clip selected though. so I'm going to click M it'll add a marker and I'm just going to trim it down a bit more and drag it and trim it back up like that so it should line up yeah, that's good. It lines up perfectly. Now what you're going to want to do is unlink the clips and basically copy the velocity that I did before. So, uh, go back into resound controls. Alright, here, at a speed point, uh, go uh, to the frame where the gun is pulled out, just like that. At another speed point, go three frames in front. One, two, three. Uh, at another speed point, and then go to the middle of the two, at another speed point. Uh, change the first speed to 75 second speed to 50 but then uh just use the the speed point on the right and drag it to the right so it makes 40 percent speed change the uh, speed to 400 uh drag that speed point back so it lines up and go like three frames in front around there make it so it overlaps and make the last speed 50 and just drag it to the right a bit and that should be good and now yeah just trim it a lot like that and that should be good so now that you have this and i'm just gonna make this optical flow again so if you guys don't know how to do that just go uh to the bottom right on like the right hand side and make it optical flow and yeah, I will lag a bit since I'm recording. And uh, now I'm just for this. I'm just gonna add the same impact. So I'm literally gonna copy and paste it. So click on the impact I used last time. Click Control C on your keyboard. 
and click control V where you want it to go. So yeah, so really that's really cool in my opinion. Just make the clip as long as it just like that. And now uh, for like one of the last parts, what you're gonna want to do for uh, for sound effects is basically get the volume of both clips just like that. Drag, uh, drag it and select uh, both volumes. Make it like minus ten for both. And what you're gonna want to do now is go and uh, drag in what uh, like the F SFX that's in the folder for the LMGK. So now drag it in and right where like the pump shot or like the sound effects like like the sound effect basically peaks in sound you're gonna want to add a marker so around yeah just i'll put it around there i'll add a marker on it and let's just line it up right there and then just trim it and fade it in so it's as long as the clip and then do the same copy and paste and copy and paste just like that and make, uh, make sure the second sound effect lines up like that. So this is how basically the montage should look like. Alright, so in my opinion it looks super nice. And now for the finishing touch, what I'm going to do is uh, go into video transitions right here on the top left corner of your screen and drag and rotate 90 and put it in between both clips uh, basically and just trim it a bit so it should be like this all right so this is how the montage should look like i'll put up an overlay on the screen doing what i was supposed to do the way she ate me up and ate them kids i don't think she won't okay these niggas beefing for ig but bitch i want to kill kept getting blessed and uh yeah that's basically it for the tutorial if you guys did enjoy uh make sure to drop a like subscribe as always and make sure you check out me and erpy's new editing pack both the free one and the paid one they're probably the best of interest of that packs out there so yeah if you guys want to check that out uh feel free to do so and that's all from me i'll see you guys next time peace